All right. Hey, guys. Um, as Megan said, uh, we're going to be doing a deep dive into setting up your pro site today. Um, so instead of looking at my face, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you can see as we go through and set up uh, the pro site for one of our demo accounts. So I'm going to go ahead and get these controls off of my screen. Does everyone uh, see my screen? I want to confirm that. Awesome. Yep. All right. So as you can see, we're starting here in our seller portal, um, you know, one of the most useful places as a TCG player seller. So once you've gone through your pricing tab, you've added up all your inventory, it's available on the marketplace, and now you want to start getting it uh, to start selling through your pro site, we're going to start, we're going to jump right into designing that pro site. So we've added inventory, we've priced it uh, for the marketplace and your MyStore channel, um, and now we want to start getting sales from, from that MyStore channel. So we're gonna jump to our pro settings tab. Over here, you'll see the URL to your website itself. So that's where people will go to actually interact with you and buy stuff from your site. And then we have the link to the ad, uh, to our the back end of our pro site. So you just click on this. I already have this opened up. Um, there Normally there would just be a quick login screen here with, and you would just uh, click the sign in with TCG player button, but in, uh, effort to not deal with a loading screen. I already loaded up earlier. So now, now we're in the back end of our, of our website. The first thing that you're going to see is the homepage where we have a lot of really good resources for you to, to access. You over here, you'll have all the help files you can possibly need on setting up your pro site, how pro works, kiosk, everything you need could be is right here. Access to our seller blog, uh, where, Recently, we've been you know, very active posting a lot of really cool stuff for, uh, to kind of help support sellers during, uh, during this uh, you know, wild time in the world. And then over here, we have our uh, media library where we have a lot of preloaded images that you can use to customize your site. Uh, if you don't have anything that you've made yourself, it's a really good place to get images for recent sets, cards, stuff like that. And then down here, um, access to our CSR team who are the best. They can help you with so many different things. Um, the back here admin panel or to the pro seller Facebook group, which is a great resource for interacting with other sellers and, you know, and get, being part of that, that community and bouncing ideas off each other. So now we've gone over all of this and uh, apparently we're named Gamma right now because this is our Gamma Pro account, um, our Gamma demo account. This would say, you know, your store's name when you log in. So let's jump right in. You're gonna click this little drop down arrow right here, and that'll give you access to show you everything you're able to interact with. And then just click on home to open up the settings. So the first thing that we're gonna start with, I like to start with your store theme, theming and settings. So this is where we're going to, you know, start making this feel like our or your site. You know, this is gonna, you know, we're gonna do logos, color schemes, stuff like that here. Um, you know, so when people go to their site, they feel like they're in your store. Uh, so first thing, you're going to want to give your store a name. So I'm going to say it's going to be the TCG Player Off Hours account. So, that, so this is our store name, TCG Player Off Hours. And then you get to add your store logo. We do have a recommended, um, you know, size of, of the logo here. And that's just for, um, so you get the best look when people go to your site. To add it, you click on the little plus button. And it's going to bring you, it's going to open up a media section. Over here, you'll see uh, any media that you've uploaded, and you can do that through this media tab. I'll touch on that in just a bit. Or if you have a file on your computer, you can use this upload button to upload an image straight, straight to this. So right down here, we've uploaded a game store logo. So I'm going to use that. All right. Uh, the mobile logo, this is for, if you can have, you can set a different logo for when people are browsing on their phone or tablet or something like that. If you want something that's a little, uh, a little less busy on a, on a smaller screen, I'm still going to stick with the same game store logo and your favicon. If you're like me, had no idea what this was up until about three days ago. Uh, that is what's going to show up on the tab. Um, when someone goes to your site, the little image up on the tab. So. Again, we're going to choose Game Store to do that. So, you know, we, we like to have a consistent logo here. So, and now we can kind of see a quick preview of what that'll look like. If I 
uh, clicking this preview button. This preview button is going to be your best friend as you work to customize your site. Uh, it's going to show you what, um, you know, what your site looks like without saving these changes right away. So that's just taking a second to load. Um, while, uh, while that loads, we'll just keep moving down this page. So uh, template picker, this is the only thing we have right now is default. That's just the, what the layout of the page looks like. Uh, right now we only have access to the one thing, so we're just gonna kind of skip over that. Uh, theme picker, this is where you get to choose your color scheme. There's a lot of really uh, nice little uh, descriptions of what of, of the different colors. There's also a light mode and dark mode for each one. I personally enjoy dark mode because uh, I think it's a little easier on my eyes. So I'm gonna, st I'm gonna stick with lime dark for this one. And oh, this, this loaded up, cool. Uh, so over here, you can see uh, we got our logo, our logo set up over here so that, you know, when people go, they're seeing this, this logo and they know that they're in our store. And in terms of the color scheme, uh, the uh, lime, so you're seeing this, uh, for the categories drop down or search, we have that nice, that nice green, the text down here. And then we have the nice dark background uh, to get that nice, to make everything kind of pop out for us. Down here in the footer message, and I'm gonna go back over here. This is what shows up down here. This is gonna show up on every page uh, as you navigate through your pro site. So this is a really good place for your store's uh, motto, anything you wanna be communicating with your buyers. Um, this is a really good place to put that. So if you're doing a sale or um, you have a message you want to convey to them, this is going to show up everywhere they go on your site. And now probably one of the most important things that you can do is tell people where you are and how to contact you. <laughs> so filling in your, your contact information and then uh, your store hours uh, down here, we see uh, our normal hours are Monday to Friday, 11 to 11, then Saturday, then all weekends, 10 to 11. And something that you can also do right now, I know a lot of a lot of stores are trying to operate with curbside pickup and stuff like that, is if you have specific hours that you do a certain thing, it's a really good place to put those so that people know, oh, okay, they're doing curbside pickup during these hours and know when to show up for that. As we scroll down, uh, different social media links that you can add in. Again, social media is, is your best friend when it comes to your pro site. It's a great way to get the word out there about um, you know, about you know where to come by you know by your product, and then also people who are already there, you know, show them where they can go interact with your community and really develop that that strong community that you like in your stores. So down here, linking in your different um, your different social media links, you can do that just by adding, clicking this plus button, and putting in the the platform and the link to it. And hey, Colin, while you're doing yeah. that, um, I know we have a question in uh, sure. from Peter that I'm actually unsure of the answer to, and I'm going to see if uh, Dave Cachione has joined us, and Dave is um, the product owner of Seller Services. Um, so I am not sure, uh, Peter, if, uh, and his question is, can you P add PNG files so the background shows through the image? Um, I am not sure, and we're gonna see if we can get an answer to that as we go along, but I certainly wanted to introduce and let everybody know that, that Dave is on the stream too. Um, so certainly um, send your questions our way. Uh, unless Colin, maybe you can speak to the PNG file question. Uh, that one, I don't know the answer to. <laughs> yeah, I think Brie would be, a, I'm gonna slack Brie and see if she, maybe she can uh, answer this as we All go right. along, and I'll drop it in the chat. Sounds yeah, I'm, I'm also not sure off the top of my head. I was trying to do a test live to see if we could uh, do PNG. I want to say the answer is yes, but I want to just double check before I, before yeah. I say yeah. that. Yeah, and I'm racking my brain trying to think of maybe some examples of that that I've seen, and I can't, I, I can't land on any right now. Um, but we'll find out and get back to you. <laughs> For sure. All right. All right, and then uh, just to wrap up our store theming and settings pa uh, page, our sections, your phone numbers, and if you have a fax machine, we also let you put in your fax number. <laughs> So this this page is really all amazing. those faxes that come in. <laughs> hey, you never know. Right, send your fax. Send a fax like two months ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, so th this page is really just kind of setting up and letting people know that hey, this is our uh, this is our store. This is what we are. You know, this is when we're open. This is you know, and setting that um, getting people to know like okay, I'm at my local store while on the site. I'm gonna go ahead and save, save these changes that we've made. So we'll see 
um, as we as we progress here, we'll see how our site is changing. So next thing we're going we're gonna to jump over to is our product menu. So um, I should have left this open. <laughs> uh, so this is where we're going to start uh, editing what drop downs at our, our top search bar are available for uh, up here for people to search from. So currently, the only things we have up here are event calendar, so and some information about us. We don't have any, we're not highlighting any of our products. So what we can do to make a new, a new uh, category to display, click this little plus button. And in this drop down menu, you'll see all of the, all the products that you have in stock where that you could make a, a uh, category for. So I'm gonna go with uh, magic. And we and that's all there really is to that. And then if I preview this, I'll reload this real quick. And boom, now we have a magic drop down showing the products that we have in stock. So oh, once you have these, if you can turn them on and off by using this power button, you can also remove them using um, using this little X here. So if there's something that you sold out of and you're not going to restock it. You can just go ahead and get rid of it. It'll give you the prompt to, to confirm you want to do that. And then you're good to go. So I'm going to turn on the Pokemon one as well. And, and we'll save and publish this. And then this little, uh, little uh, checkbox right here controls whether or not this category's drop down appears or not. All right. So now, now we've set up you know, how people can, you know, what products people, you know, we're trying to uh, send people to to buy. And now it's time to really customize this site and make it look the way you want it to look. So uh, first thing we'll jump into are banners. Um, and that, that, are, that is these things right here that people, that, um, that show the products, you can show products you have, you can make custom ones with a message to your sellers about certain you know, events you have going or uh, change in operations, something, you know, things around along those, uh, along those lines. So a lot like our, uh, the categories, you can turn these on and off using this power button. I don't know why I just did it for all of them, but I did. Um, and then let's jump into making a new one. So at, to make a new one, you again, click this little plus button and we're gonna fill in some information about it. So first is our headline, and I'm gonna go with TCG player office hours. And then the message box, which is, uh, this, you can choose where you want it to appear on on your uh, on your banner. The text within that within the message box, you can choose an alignment for that as well. And then throw in a description if there's something you want to say about about what that banner is is going for. And then as we go down here. You can add buttons to these. This is really uh, this is really nice if there's a, a link that you want to send you want to send people to with this. So if this was the situation of you want them to wanted to bring them to a certain page to buy products, so it's a new set, and you want them to have a shop now button, you click on this button, you give it a name, and then you can have it direct to a different um, a different URL to a piece of content or media that you've uploaded. Um, so I'm just gonna have this one go to dcgplayer.com. And then you get to add your image to it and we'll go ahead and add Radical Allegiance. And again, uh, when doing this, you also have the option again of, of uploading a new image. You don't have to use, you don't have to pre-upload them. You can add them right here. And then if I pre, preview this, I should have this brand new banner. As long as I turned it on. Yep. Maybe. I should publish it. Um, As that's loading, oh, there. Uh, I can't click. My apologies. That's okay. Clicking is hard on Thursdays. It, Colin. <laughs> hard on Thursdays. Okay, there. So here's, here's the new banner that that we just built. 
So if I click shop now, this should bring me to the that would bring me to the link that I uh, that I put in there. And again, you can go through. You can turn these on and off with this power button. You can rearrange them using uh, this little crosshair right here. So if there's things you want to spotlight more, you want to have them show up first. You know, you can reorganize these to highlight the things you want to highlight. All right. Now, so now that we've created our banners. Um, we're going to move down to the different uh, different other things that you can add into the uh, to the front page of your pro site. And we'll get into what these different areas mean. So the featured position is this area right here next to your banners. So you, you can add a widget to either side of your banner. Uh, so I've chosen left. And uh, I'll just dump this real quick. And so you get to add a calendar widget and an image. So if there's something, uh, if you've made a custom image that you want to put there, uh, so again, like a message to your customers or uh, you know, some, like a highlight a, a necklace or something like that that's done well in your store recently. You can create you know different images, your Facebook page, YouTube, or your Twitter. I'm gonna stick with Facebook, and I'm gonna use the TCG Player Facebook page, uh, Facebook. So there we go. We have so now we've set our featured area, and then our side area position. So as we scroll down our page next to where we have top selling and latest releases, you can add, again, those same widgets that are available for your featured area. You can add them next to, um, you know, next to the sell top selling and latest releases. So I'm gonna put it on, this, on the side and let's go and add a, we'll add an image and We'll just, we'll just we're gonna reuse our logo here. You can also add a link to this if you want, want to link this out. Um, and you just do that by clicking on this add link and put in the URL and the link title and, every, and where you want that to go. So if we preview this, Again, let that load. As that's loading up, down at the bottom of your page, um, you can again add those same widgets. And this is a great place to make sure they access all of your social media, all your online presence, that people have access to that, know where they can come interact with you, be part of your community, and again, really start building that um, that really awesome player community that a lot of local game stores have. So you can see here, our featured area has our Facebook, our uh, our side image has the, has a, our logo that we just put in there, and then down here we have access to our Facebook, our Twitter, and then uh, some YouTube videos that we that we wanted to link in here. All right, so that is the kind of the down and dirty on setting up your store. When it comes to your you know all the images, you can upload. You can come over to our um, come over to our media our media tab here, you can upload a, bu as a bunch of images over here. So this is, again, the images are really uh, where you can start customizing things and making it feel like your site. So again, your logos, different backgrounds for banners, or again, if you wanna make something that's a message to your, uh, to your player base. Um, and then just uh, for complete sake, this forms thing, no one really uses it. So um, it's, a, you can come in here. You can build forms to put on to put on your site. Um, if you'd like to learn more about that, uh, reach out to us. We'd be happy to go through it. Um, but I definitely not used that frequently. Now I know I've talked to um, you know a handful of the people watching, and a big thing that a lot of uh, a lot of stores like to do is um, add in custom pages and redirect links. Um, the redirect links are really, really helpful if you have a product that is not available on, through the TCG Player catalog, but you have it hosted somewhere else. Uh, so letting people who are shopping from your, uh, from your pro site still access that inventory, still in, in create a more, you know, that full shopping experience on your pro site. Um, so, so we can do that. If you hover over the home option, you'll see this three dot, um, three dot menu. 
And over here under page or redirect is where you would go to make those new, those redirect pages or the redirect, redirect links or pages. And you can also put the a redirect link right in a page. Um, within a page, um, it can be text, you can add in, you can add it, add in images. So if you have, you know, images of products that you have that are for sale that you can't list on the, um, on the, you know, on TCG player, it's a really good place to add in those images and you can put a message in, but on how people can go about purchasing those from you. And then, uh, adding a redirect link in again, a really good way to, if you have a blog or other, other pieces of content that you want, that you want your customers interacting with, adding those redirect link links in can again, give people access to that when they're on your, on your pro site. So, uh, from there, uh, I actually want to pass this over to Megan. She's going to show you some really cool, um, some really cool pro sites that we uh, that we've uh, we found, and kind of show you guys what you're a are able to do with all with all of these uh, different tools. So I'm going to stop sharing, and Megan's going to share hers. Sweet, thank you, Colin. Um, that was a really good tour uh, of the back end, and I hope um, that was helpful for people. And certainly, feel free to ask questions in the chat or uh, hit us up after. I am working on screen sharing, bear with me. I think you can see this. I'm gonna make it large. Can you guys all see? Uh, I'm on a pro site called Paladins yep. Games. Okay, cool. Um, you know what, oops, I didn't wanna do that. Um, I just kind of racked up a bunch of really unique and interesting pro sites. Uh, an important thing to know about pro sites is we give you the canister, um, and you know, certain limitations on, on how to use it, but there are many things that you can do to customize it, to make it yours, to again, like Colin was saying, you can link out, you can um, you know, kind of pull things in that may not be available um, on our site just yet to, to sell or whatnot. Um, I landed here first on Paladins um, because I, I absolutely love this. I love it you know, right up front and center. They've got a video like how to play Dungeons and Dragons. Like that's pretty cool. Um, I think that's neat. Uh, I like the positioning of it. Um, I know Colin loves dark mode. I do too, but I think this is a good example of light mode. They've got two, um, kind of two layers of the nav bar and there's a lot of information here and it's all up front and really clear. Um, they've got special COVID messaging, how to, you know, how, how they're fulfilling orders now and how you can pick up your orders. Um, so I thought that that was a really neat one um, for all those reasons. Um, Gamers and Geeks, this is another one of my favorite ones, uh, although they haven't updated it in a little while, but um, I think I just saw a question in the, the chat about deck lists. Um, they have added an extra page and, um, and just popped in deck lists and, and certain things like that, which I think is really cool and different. Um, at one point, they were actually using the forums um, to reserve uh, RPG rooms. Um, although I might have to reel that comment back in. <laughs> this isn't a form, but they, I don't know. It's a neat way to kind of engage and uh, capture information. Um, moving on, this is the one I think I linked in the chat, um, Blackthorn Game. Um, I love it because they have opted, uh, Colin it showed us how to use the bullets along the bottom. Um, they've used the thumbnails and it kind of just rotates along by itself. Um, I, the graphics all look beautiful. These all came from our media library. So again, these are free for you to pull and, you know, I feel like thematically this looks beautiful. Um, you can use these on your Facebook page. You can use them wherever you want. Uh, obviously, we'd love it if they're on your, your pro site. Um, another interesting thing that uh, these guys have done that not a lot of stores really are aware of, um, many of you um, sell games workshop items. Uh, pro sellers can sell things like paints. Um, so let's just pop in here and see. Um, they don't have a ton, but they've got some. And there they are. Um, so that's kind of a, a neat, a neat one. And they have a really good breadth of things that they're offering on their pro site. So I thought that was kind of interesting to highlight and feature. Um, moving on, another one. Uh, I love this Rona the end to gathering. It's you know sad but true. This is where we are. Um, I, I liked it that this banner was right up front. Um, They've changed their store hours, one customer inside the building at a time, um, and, and things like that, kind of keeping 
a little news flash there. Um, thematically, it's interesting. I like their color scheme. Um, they have put, it, again, a lot up here. Um, they've got the Twitch stream. Um, and it's nice and nice and bright punch of red uh, with the dark theme. Next gen, I put up because again, I thought their COVID messaging was was great. I think that you know these sites, people are. It is for your local players. It's for people who are they want to come to your store. It's a community. Um, they're looking for news. How can uh, we stay connected? So I thought this was a really good uh, example. They've got it here in pink bubblegum. Um, their COVID precautions in effect. Um, my screens are, there we go. So yeah, they are, they're keeping updated here. Um, and that is a, a good way to do that. Um, pro play games. I thought this was great because uh, they can link their players, their teams. Um, they've got professional teams out there playing. And um, again, you could use a page like this to show a gallery. What does your store look like during Friday Night Magic? Again, when we get back to um, the world where which we can do that, um, you know, maybe take photos of, of some interesting things that, that might be going on behind the scenes. Um, you know, stay in touch that way. Um, and oh, then we're back to uh, BGC. And this is, I did drop this in the chat. I know somebody had asked about Discord. Um, you know, if they've got a link, this is a hyperlink. Uh, it isn't, a, it, it kind of appears as, as if it's a widget, um, but it, it is a nice springboard to that. Um, I also just wanted to point out um, some TCG player resources that are always available to you. Um, one of them is our seller blog. <laughs> um, and that you can go to anytime. It's seller.tcgplayer.com. I will definitely, after this, we'll send you guys an email that will have all, all of these links available. Um, Ed and team just put together this awesome um, deep dive, kind of step-by-step -step, uh, walkthrough of getting started with your pro website. And there is a, uh, a white paper linked in here. Um, a lot of really good, valuable information. Thank you, Ed. Um, you can download this um, and have that right at your fingertips as you're moving through some of this. Um, also, many of you don't know that there is a YouTube channel. Um, we have tried to, actually, we've kept up with um, setting, you know, these aren't the deep dives like our office hours, but we do keep up with, um, you know, quick setup videos, how to set up your mass price app if you've never used that for quick pricing. Um, you know, when you're setting up your branded website, uh, do you also want to control your prices differently on the TCG Player Marketplace? Um, you can pop into channels management and find out how to do that. Um, and then we also upload uh, videos such as the one we're doing right now um, to office hours. So there's a good bank of information there uh, as a resource, uh, or if you ever want to touch base with some uh, sellers that have come to talk with us. Um, that's kind of fun. And then I did have, but it vanished, uh, our help files. The TCG Play help, fi help files are always uh, a great resource as well. Um, so that is kind of my tour of all of some really good sites. Hopefully you've been inspired by that. Um, does anybody have any questions before we wrap and sign off? I'm not seeing any activity in the chat. Um, well, please look for an email from us again uh, that will wrap up a lot of this good information. And I am so happy that everyone joined us today. It's been a pleasure to see uh, some, some names and have some chat uh, before and during this. And uh, we look forward to staying in touch and helping you along with your pro sites. Oh, is there a way to add a visit counter? Great question for Dave, because I don't know. Dave, do you know if we have a visit counter on the, the pro sites? Yeah, so uh, when Ed, I believe Ed responded with the um, option for Google Analytics, that is probably the best way to see not only visits, but um, transitions, funnels, uh, you know, unique visitors versus returning visitors. Um, that's one of those things where, it, you know, Google is just going to always probably do that better than us. So I would highly recommend um, getting that Google Analytics account set up and getting that tracking ID put on your site. There is a help file that we have for that. We can help yeah. out there too. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Uh, again, so, uh, for Google, Google Analytics, under the store theme and settings, there is the Google Analytics ID. Um, so you can free to paste in your tracking ID right here. Awesome. I think we have one other question. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Games Workshop. Um, so uh, Games Workshop is um, 
you can sell that inventory if you're a pro seller, which uh, obviously you're here, so you are. Um, we can link you to information on how to get that loaded up. As far as board games, uh, we do not have those as part of our catalog right now, but what many people do is they will hyperlink out to maybe uh, a square site where they are selling um, things that are not part of the TCG player catalog yet. Um, so as well, um, I can send you some links on stores uh, that are doing that. Yeah, and uh, to Jose's question about his custom domain, uh, Jose, I would say reach out to our CSR team. Uh, they, they would definitely be able to help you, help you out in getting that uh, custom domain set up and getting it directing to your website. Uh, there's a couple steps for you to take and there's a couple steps for, for us to take as well. Um, so go ahead and uh, send an email to sales at tcgplayer.com and our CSR team will, will give you a hand. Yeah, and we do have many stores that do um, successfully set up that custom domain. Um, again, it just, you know, it, it takes out the tcgplayerpro.com and makes it your own. Um, so it yeah. is many times and most times it's as simple as submitting a C name change. Exactly. Um, okay, any, any other questions trickle in? And I don't want to wrap if, if people still have questions. Um, How do you add in a widget? Okay, uh, so I will share my screen again. We'll, we'll just run back over that real quick. So, um, in the homepage content uh, for this side area, you can add it. Just click this little plus button right here. And I have this on the wrong screen. Um, click this uh, plus button, and the different widgets that are available will pop up. And then you can just choose. If you want to do a calendar, uh, get, you input your calendar IDs. If you want to do your Facebook or something like that, you would just put in the link to your Facebook. Um, and Colin Peters asking probably while you're on that screen, what about a URL, URL link? Um, like how uh, BCG had the Discord link in there. Uh, can, I mean, can you show, show that one again real quick? Just so I want to make sure I am. Yep. Uh, Bear with me. I gotta yep. um, share screen. Okay, can you guys see my right screen? Uh, no. Oh, great. I see your face. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, um, yeah. Okay, I'm over here on Gamers and Geeks, and I've got to get to the correct seller, which was this one. Okay, um, so we scroll down, and it is here um, on my right. It like I. I it does, it okay. looks like it's a widget, um, but they've kind of just nestled the um, logo and I click it and boom, it takes me to Discord. Uh, a Discord URL. Okay, so what I believe they did there, I'm gonna, uh, can I share my screen again? Oh, sure, yep, that means I gotta stop. And uh, let me just double check this real quick. So I believe what they did was um, added an image and then it put a link to their discord on the image. So cool. they grabbed an image that said like the discord logo, uh, added that here and then just put the link, um, and then added the link to their discord server, um, on that. So when you click the image, it brings you right to their discord. So that, that one looks like a widget, but mm -hmm. not actually a widget. <laughs> and I, you know what, that may be a great question for Dave, because I know we didn't immediately have Twitch available, but with uh, the rise in popularity of Twitch, Twitch was something we added at a later date. Perhaps maybe uh, a, a, a widget could be created for Discord, Dave? Right now, the best way to do anything where you're gonna link out to Discord is what uh, that one site had and what Colin just showed with okay. the link cool. and the image. Um, it is a cool idea though. Um, currently though, the, probably the best way is, is that demo that Colin just had. Awesome. But no, uh, we'll take a note on, on the feedback. Awesome. Um, and then to Steve's question about uh, multiple calendar IDs, uh, you can definitely, you can definitely do that because you can, um, you can just keep adding different calendars and as long as you have a different ID for them, you can, you can put in diff uh, different calendars. Oh, absolutely. And that will, uh, you know, it, it appears on Google calendar and then each day is stacked up with maybe several different colors of yep. uh, unique events that you're hosting. Yep. Uh, and, er and Eric's uh, advice for the Discord is to have the permanent mm -hmm. link. That's definitely very helpful. <laughs> All right.
Okay, well, I think we might have a wrap. Um, right. Unless there's any, any other questions? No, I don't think so. And I uh, have to say, I'm really happy that everybody joined us today. Um, thank you, team. And thank you, ProSellers. It's always a pleasure to connect. And uh, you know where to find us. Oh, one thing I did uh, want to say, I hope that everybody is uh, part of our Facebook group. I know many yes. and most of you are, but um, if you are not, you are invited to, uh, it's, it's a hidden group. Um, it's TCG Player Pro Retailers Group. So just search it on Facebook, request to join. Uh, they just ask a couple um, questions if you're a seller. Uh, and then in you go uh, into the mix of discussion, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, but we uh, love to see people there and certainly invite you to participate there. Um, the link to that Facebook group is also right on the, on the uh, welcome page of the back end of your website. Perfect. So you can jump right back in there and click on this. I'll bring you right there. Boom. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Colin. Um, all right. Thank you, Colin and team. I guess that's a wrap. And uh, until we see you next time, everybody stay healthy and uh, stay safe. And uh, we look forward to connecting along the way. Bye, everybody. Yeah.